Hello, uh, in this video I want to show you how to use fragmentation by shapes feature. As you can see just uh, this one rollout with list and the button. And as you as you already know, it allows you to fragment objects any geometry using shapes. All you need to do is create these shapes and add them in this list and add object you want to fragment inside impact object list here. So uh, let's create some shapes now and it's easier is to do in front view. Let's go to shapes and uh, I want to create some kind of wood splinters, spiky and sharp shapes. So I will set here corner and corner in drag type as well. And I will start drawing something like this. Okay, uh, one important thing uh, you should know when you use fragmentation by shapes is that uh, their local Z axis, this blue one, should be uh, directed to the object or opposite of object because this shape will be projected over this uh, blue Z axis like this. So uh, I will s project just this one shape right now, so you will see how it works. You should add it here and click fragment, and basically this is your fragmented door. And uh, if let's say I will rotate it like this and fragment again, you'll see it now fragmented here because this shape was projected over its z-axis in this way. So I will delete it now and uh, create more interesting splinters. So let's say our top border will be here and uh, I will copy it here, rotate, so it will be different the bottom like this and also I will create a couple of copies like this more copies create even more copies like this one and even more also some shapes I will actually move them closer to the door. Some of them I will rotate, so I will get more interesting splinters. Okay, uh, so let's create all the shapes right now and add them inside shape list. And uh, let's click fragment. And now it's going to take some time. Okay, uh, so here's uh, our fragmented door. I will. <coughs> Select the shapes and uh, hide them. So here's our door and uh, as you can see there's uh, 427 fragments. So basically that's all, but I will show how you can use it further. Let's unhide my this little bomb. and it has exponential range type 
frame 21 explosion so uh, now I will add it into simulation properties list here and uh, probably set here deactivate static dynamic and activate by force let's take a look how it will look like now Cool. So, looks pretty interesting. Basically, another way to fragment this door, you can actually create this shape of, you can uh, like a circle, let's create a circle, you can use any other shapes, just to define the area you want to fragment, like this. Add the circle inside this list. Make sure its z-axis looks to the object and fragment. So now you can select this fragment which you just got using the circle shape and add it inside dynamic list. Let's say unhide my other shapes. Hide the circle and use these shapes to fragment this middle part of the door. And again, you can explode it. Okay, and delete again. Another way to use, basically pretty the same, just a little bit more interesting. Let's, uh, like this wooden fence. Again, let's unhide our I will use the same shapes.
So again, you can see all these blanks were fragmented. You can hide this again. Well, let's explode it as well. Let's 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 uh, add the subject into slipping leaf this time, and use that slipping feature. Let's try Warrior Four and uh, start simulation. Okay, looks like four is not enough. Seven. Okay, now more planks stay at their position. So let's set it to nine. Okay, maybe maybe twelve. Ready. Okay. Okay, it looks like twenty is too much. Let's try seventy. Yep, something like this. Okay, uh, another way. Uh, to use fragmentation by shapes is to use a refire tree subject. Explain. Uh, so let's pick some stencil like this one. Here, let's trace it here. I'll rotate it and uh, fix its size. And now let's rotate it in this way. Scale down. And then you can go to the create shape feature here. So now you can see we have separate shape of traced image. And I will use just uh, this outer shape. So again, I will add it here. Make sure the axis is looking straight to the object. Let's position it closer to the geometry. Uh, let's say this wall. Okay, so here is our geometry and now you can use this geometry to fragment it even further using many other fragmentation types and let's say explode these fragments
Okay, uh, that was tutorial about how to use fragmentation by shapes feature and uh, make sure uh, you have the latest build 1.62.0.4 since a couple of bugs were fixed in this build. And uh, thank you for watching.